Hello and welcome back to Gail Bear's Repairs. Today we're going to try and uh, darken down these faded bumpers on this old Ford KA. We'll see how we get on with just a heat gun. If you found it useful and helpful today, what you've seen in the video, could you please like, subscribe and share and that would be a great help for the channel. Right, let's get on with it. Remember, if you like what you've seen today, could you like, subscribe, and yeah. All right, so all we're gonna to do to bring back the life to these bumpers is use a heat gun. This is one of the cheapest ones I could find on Amazon. It's so cheap, I not even got a name, it's just called heat gun. <laughs> but all we're gonna do is apply heat, gentle heat on here. I've only got it on heat setting number one. Just on heat setting number one and we'll just play the heat until we get a change in colour. I think all we're doing is melting the surface, melting the surface of the plastic to bring it back to life again. So we're just putting a crispy shell on it um, and losing the oxidisation of the plastic. So we'll have a go. We'll just gently start off. So here you can see the colour coming back. Just gently, I think I've overdone it a bit there. And you see the colour coming back to life. Looks pretty good so far. I'll have to even it out. It looks a bit glossy, a bit more glossy there than to here so i'll even all that out make them look the same and then i'll put you uh, on a bit of time lapse and we'll work our way around the uh, around the bumper Well, that's impressive. We're 14 minutes in, so it's took a quarter of an hour to do a quarter of a bumper. So that's not too bad. Good results. It's a little bit streaky. I don't know if that'll go away as it cools down and evens out, but it's far, as you can see, it's far better than before. That's uh, a massive difference. So I'll carry on and get you on the time lapse again. Well, I think you'd agree that's impressive results just for a little bit of uh, 
little bit of heat gun. It's brought it back to life. So I don't know how long it'll last. I will uh, do a second video in six months time, let's say. Before, here's the after. Massive difference. So there we go. I think it went very well. Excellent results at the end. I was impressed. Um, a little technique, go over it, and then just do it with swirls afterwards to even out, even out the uh, pattern. But very successful, just with a heat gun. If you found it useful today, what you've seen, and it's going to be helpful for you for your own car and your project, could you please like, subscribe, and share? And I'll uh, get you next time.